me. Hello, this is Ken Dreesen with the Local Ideas Energy Bootlegger Project. We have a lot of wood around here that's down and dead because the wind storms will come through and break the trees off at the top, like this here tree. The wind just came and sheared the branches right off of it. And after they shear off, the wood is laying down on the ground. You can see there's a lot of firewood right there. And uh, if you leave it, and you leave a lot of wood like that in the woods during a dry year, it becomes forest fire tinder, and the forest fires are way worse. And uh, if you use it up, you can, there will still probably be some forest fires, but they will be less intense because there's no fuel for them, and less fuel. Live trees, they don't burn as these dead trees. And so that's one part of what is behind the energy bootlegger technology and why we need this technology so much is because we can get rid of dead trees and uh, make the forest fires less worse. And besides that, then the energy bootlegger makes fuel for your transportation and electricity. And it also makes heat for your living space and hot water for your cooking and washing. Okay, now we're gonna go look at a few more dead trees. There's a few of them around here that the wind blew so hard that they were uprooted. So we're gonna show you some more fuel for the energy bootlegger. Here's another uprooted tree that will uh, make fuel for the energy bootlegger or it'll make forest fire fuel. It's, it's up to the people of this country to figure out what they want. See, look at this, it's uprooted and then you got all of this here. This is a lot of wood here, a lot of BTUs, and you know some of the wood we want to leave so that mushrooms and stuff grow and everything else, but a lot of it can be used without hurting nature one bit. Yeah, there's a bunch of uprooted trees all over, and this is just really close. I got enough gas I can make with the energy bootlegger to come over here and take all these trees and make fuel out of them and electricity. Look at that. The wind just knocked the heck out of this place. And there's more to come. More uprooted trees. More uprooted dead trees. Wind blown. Another root ball. Wind blown. I started building the boiler for the energy bootlegger in early winter of 2010 2011. <clears throat> and here later that winter, I framed it in and boxed in the boiler and the reaction vessel. There you can see the reaction <coughs> vessel and the round circle. There the doors open on the reactor where you put wood in order to make the fuel. There's another shot of it with the hinge. Okay, here's the firebox and it also shows the catalytic converter now on the inside of the firebox. There's the gauges and the relief valves for the uh, pressure tanks. That's the relief valve for the boiler. Here's the generator that's uh, hooked up to a little makeshift turbine. And uh, I'm generating electricity with that, who you'll see later in the movie.
Now this is the wood that goes into the reaction vessel that's going to uh, make the gas. So I'm filling this up with wood and then I'm going to seal it off and then that's going to make our gas to run our truck. Make enough horsepower of steam to get it going. So there you see, we got all that in there and now we're going to fill her up with this, this 50 pounds of wood so we know that 53, I think. 53 pounds, okay. <laughs> get all this wood in there and get it lit up and... Uh, oh, he was having trouble holding that 53 yeah, pounds. Yeah, that was tough. I thought he I, was stronger than uh, that. Yeah, I think I talked tougher than what I am. That was a god darn lot of weight for me. The talking wore him out. Yeah. Okay. Yo, flick of the pick. Okay, we'll be back when she takes off now. And we'll show you some more. There's a gauge over here. That's It's got like about a 60 pound pressure into the reaction vessel that we filled up with that wood the other day, or today, earlier. And then um, from there, that gas pressure is gonna go in here and I'm gonna turn this valve on. And you can hear it, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you can hear it. And now look over there at that gauge. And that gauge is going up. Yeah, keep looking at that gauge, you know, because it doesn't go up that fast, but it was starting out at two pounds, and uh, now it's up past three pounds, and so I'm getting gas from there to there into these two tanks, and it's up to four just about now it's getting up, so that's, I just want to show you that that's where the gas that I'm using comes from. Okay, here we go. Trying to get this uh, with the black background to see the the flame. Uh, this is gas that's coming out of them tanks. There you go. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, and, and that's the gas that I'm making there and compressing. And later on, we'll show the truck running on it again. There's the tank with 80 psi of wood gas that I made, and there's the regulator and the Impco carburetor. It's actually called a mixer. Okay. Got to turn on the gas here, the wood gas from the compressed wood gas from the tank. There we go. And fire up old Bessie one more time just to prove that I can duplicate the experiment. It's not not just a one-time ordeal. The truck does it. And I've got to, um, I got it to do a little more than idle now. It's still not running down the road, but check this out. pretty soon now. All right. Thank you. Yes, this truck is now running on wood gas that I made and compressed. I would like to thank my family and all my good friends who believed in me to get me this far, to get the energy bootlegger project this far.